Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov, a little Ostrovian town here. We're in February of uh, 1726, spring is coming, snow is thawing, and we're in patch 5. Patch 5, the predominant addition, is the chicken coop, and chickens for meat and eggs. So, in fact, let's pop into that real quick. When you buy live chickens from neighbor towns, it will be assigned a chicken coop with more space. Uh, make sure it is staffed and has a stock of wheat and water before traders arrive. So wheat and water. The cow shed is hay and water. So I was about to say we probably need to pop another mill in because our flour is very little, 1.6. So we're probably using it about as fast as we're making it right now. But that's competition, that wheat. Chickens need it now. So now we got to do a little more uh, thinking about, you know, how, how we're going to balance out wheat. Maybe a few more wheat fields. But um, let's let's see here. How best to start? Let's let the thaw happen while I'm reading my other screen over here and talk about a few other changes. Most of the changes he was saying, Yveni was saying that uh, happened kind of under the hood. A lot of optimization changes and a lot of new features for the game were almost complete. So he just he pulled back, just got the chickens going, and those other ones are mostly done, or quite you know quite a quite a ways through the process of being ready for a future update. So there's there's more coming. Um, I showed a little snippet, a little uh, picture of a kind of a bug that popped up on his test screen of a ship. It seemed like there were three masts on it, or at least two sailing ship accidentally moving through the town so I think we're looking pretty soon at sailing ships being able to connect towns and maybe even other islands I don't know uh, to our city so we're not just dependent upon land trading soon be nice to cut this distance in half too but that's that's coming what is here right now I'm gonna kind of watch that right there when we hit March I've got in fact can I do anything to get started? Not really. Just got to wait till we get there. But while we're waiting to get there, um, what do we have here? All the buildings now will allow us to choose how many workers we want. Up to 20. So crazy amount for a warehouse unless you've really got to get firewood into somewhere. You know, that's an idea. I hadn't thought about that. So labor limit of... Oh, labor limit. I see. Not workers. Okay. Hmm. So potentially 20 people could suddenly be hired on. I see. Click this right here. No, I thought 20 boxes would show up. Okay. Well, there's probably no more wheat to go get or something. Okay. But let me unclick that before we get into a crisis here. But all the buildings now will allow you to choose how much labor you want. So that's, that's helpful. Um... What else we have here? Slightly reduced a fallow field's benefit. I always thought it was a bit overwhelming that you could fallow a field and get all of the the uh, nut nutrients back all at one time. And apparently he does, he has as well. So he's, he's, uh, I, I don't know to what extent, but uh, reduced the benefit of fallowing a field. You need to have the plowing play in there somewhere. Uh, so I, I think that's good. Uh, soil now has, a, now has a memory of nutrients at any point. So rebuilding a field doesn't restore nutrients. So you can't run three crops through and then destroy the field, put a field back in, and then run three more crops through and never have to deal with a fallow field. So I guess that was kind of a cheat that he kind of uh, shut down. So now the ground knows what was above it at one point, you know, prior to that. Um, let's see here. Replaced all building icons with high-res ones for 4K monitors. Well, that's not something I have to worry about, but uh, if, you, if you're running 4K, then it's, uh, it's available. I assume we're talking about these guys now. So maybe they were looking a little pixelated on the bigger screens. Um, optimized performance on some systems. More optimizations are coming. Um, looks like that is about it for this one. There's some bugs that have been fixed. But I guess things like new local families never had any children before. So that's been repaired. Don't know if it will be repaired on this map because all the changes are going to happen for the most part on, on a brand new map. Though doesn't look like anything is conflicting with this one. And we can put in the chicken coop. 
So let's get that one going and we'll just continue progressing in this town. I think we've got a farm we wanted to plan here and in fact we're heading kind of out this direction and out that direction. So get a little further on this map for, for a few episodes and then wait for the next update to come out and see uh, see what we're going to add to it. Now this one over here, this warehouse is collecting wheat for the windmill. I was thinking as I was sitting here staring at this that you know we've got cattle over here which actually we need to deal with. We have 16 out of this one place here so that's got to be dealt with too so i'm kind of running it slow right now oh farming's going on well let's make sure this is happening so we've got two people hired one of them is over here getting the plowing done as soon as the plowing's done we should see theoretically up to i've got it set for eight laborers to pop in here and get to work on this i'll push it to 10 though don't know I guess it would only hire more than say four or five if there were multiple fields ready to go. That was a house right there. So multiple fields ready then you can get sowers into multiple fields. I think each field can only handle so many at a time. So I can set it to 20 and still only get four or five people to uh, to go at a time. Now I guess if we had multiple farms that'd be different. We'd be people working all over the map. Um, let's do a quick look through the place first. We've got I did a little bit of this before starting just to make sure that I was ready to, to be able to talk and not worry about it, but I want to make sure I got it right. So we got three fishermen out here and they are going to work. Okay, fish in town, seven. Okay, we've got thatch. There's eight thatch over here and in storage over here, thatch is 50. So we're good on thatch. So nobody needs to work there. Uh, three houses, what are you? You're cart parking. You are still the camp center until the town hall gets built which we had paused. I'm going to leave paused. We'll get the farming done, and then we'll move into the chicken coop, wherever that's going to be. But um, over here, Smithy, I turned off because we've got 900 nails there, and in storage, we've got another 500 nails. So we're good there. In fact, what is hmm, Svetlana doing right now? Wood. So ask for 500 wood, and we've got 169 over here. Let's put in two workers. We'll do that unless it gets crazy over here and nobody comes to, to work on this. Just finish that so we should get the command soon to get some laborers in here. And this just showed up. Six? Ten. So we can do six per field. I think that's what that's telling me. If two fields were plowed and ready then I think twelve would show up. Assuming that we had twelve chosen. But right now it's only asking for six. Either that means that one field can only take six at a time, which one is plowing and the other one is... Boy, you look at that. I never noticed that before. Now, that's because show path is on, but I guess I've never clicked on somebody with show path in the field. Or that's part of this update. So I don't know if that's, if that's there uh, new or not, but I kind of like that. <clears throat> Although you're not really doing any sowing are you you're supposed to be wheat hmm well you know nice uh, nice afternoon walk okay <laughs> anyway working on that house and nobody has jumped in here to help come on guys higher boy 120 percent of normal wage already okay let's continue with the labor maybe we will pull the foresters off for just yet then and I've only left actually you know what we're out of hemp over here we've got zero hemp zero textile so let's shut these down completely Taylor's workshop there's nobody to do any work there we've got one in the granary um, oil workshop though sunflower 7.95 let's get somebody working in there that's money for the town so we'll put one person in there. We're okay here at the cow shed. We're at 17. Let's pick... Oh, let's slaughter that cow. And maybe that one. Leave the bowl with all of these. Okay. Um, slaughter is there. Yeah, we'll pop somebody in there. And then later we'll put somebody back in the tannery. We'll go with that for now. And you are the shoemaker's workshop. We do have three leather in stock. So it would be nice to get somebody working over there. Here now? Now we have even less. <laughs> okay, shut down the uh, shut down the construction. See if that helps. Oh well. It'll happen. Eventually. 
everybody's on you know vacation right now and and uh let's see first of march you got st patrick's day coming up maybe there's a parade over on the other side over there i don't know they'll get to work eventually but what else to do here i think i have touched on just about trading post i really kind of want well we have the manager there and that's what's important so we'll get messages if there's any trading to do okay but we've been there there's one person available there one over here bringing the wheat over we could probably do without doing any more of that for now there's plenty of wheat for quite a while so we can leave that so does that all right what is happening here let's add another 10 percent see if we can get somebody in here but if nobody gets over here then we'll see if suddenly we get 12 spots available when both of these are plowed so it's to our benefit that they don't come to work right um okay wheat chickens let's go there if I put the chickens over here with the cows and eventually maybe another cow shed and more cows make this kind of the livestock area, which kind of feels good, feels right. It's a long walk from where the wheat is actually being stored, right over here. So it would make sense to get wheat processes done near the storage. We have water right over there. So let's chicken coop somewhere in this area. You are right there. Let's get down here and look at this. So we've got a loading ramp over there to the left. We've got stairs right there going up onto that deck. So that's the entrance to the building. So we want the entrance to be somewhere near what would be some kind of a road. And we've got, oh, we got my fingers all in the wrong place. There we go. We've got kind of a nice little road happening here. Ooh, that's kind of a nice one right there too. Shooting right down the place. And then I wanted to get another one going kind of right out through there and then I guess that was kind of intended as one but kind of a, a curvy windy one through here hmm okay so we're gonna call this a road and let's chicken coop so stairs are going to be right out here right near the pointer so they need to be in this direction so how do we determine what is kind of straight? I think this building is pretty uh, solid to, uh, to straight. So something like that. Okay. So drop into here. Where do we put this guy? About like that as far as distance side to side. And touching there. Let's do that. Doesn't matter if there isn't a gap because this whole area is carts can roll through. So chicken coop's going to go there. Let's take you higher up, though. Have we started? Whoa. Well, here's our eight, 12. Yep, 12 spaces for two fields. And we've suddenly filled five slots. Why? Was it the 130% or was there a timer that suddenly tripped and everyone, everybody, you know, grabbed the newspaper and went through the classifieds? I'm going to be a little stingy and take that back down and see if anybody gets offended and leaves. But... So far, we're okay. <laughs> All right, you're there. I want you being worked on, though. No, I'm going to let you go. These can wait, but I do want to see if we can get this guy built this episode. Which isn't going to be as long as my RimWorld episodes. I've gotten into a, a, a pattern of one-hour episodes on RimWorld, which just seems to feel right over there. This one could be a whole series of smaller episodes and be fine. Because I'm not going to record this for a long time. Maybe four to six episodes. To kind of expand this out a little bit into here. And maybe out in this direction. We'll see. And then kind of sit back and know that we've got a good solid foundation for whatever's going to show up with the next update. But let's play with this one for a while. Um, you're there. Wheat arrives. Goes to the chickens. Goes to the mill. Do we want a second mill? We could put it in the queue. This is where it would be. Um, I can't see a circle anymore. Let's go this route. Right there. He'd be in this area. So I guess something like this. Hay is there. We have two of them. And we've managed to use quite a bit. So if we decide to put a second cow shed in. I guess we'll have three more hay dryers yeah, over wherever that cow shed's going to be if it's there 
or down this direction. Not sure which. Hmm. Okay. Just trying to decide if I need to save space or something. I don't think I do. Something like that. Does it make a difference one side or the other? Really doesn't, because the carts can drive through underneath and no problem. Okay, so you're there, and you can stay paused. You're not as critical. You're just more of a placeholder for now. All right, we're plowing our third one. Our sowing is happening over here. Have we been assigned to sow over here yet? We've not. We still now only have four people. Okay, town budget, 600. Town treasury, I mean. You two, these guys are falling out. They're going to do that. We're still only two weeks into March. And we're down to three. All right. Two. Get back your 130. Huh. Spoiled. <laughs> okay. What's happening over here? So we've got... I signed two more cows to be slaughtered. I've got somebody working in there. Looks like he has done it. Two hides. And we're at 15 now. We had 16 and I signed two, but the two are gone. So we must have given birth to another one. Probably a couple of newborns. Well, there's one newborn and one six months old. Okay. Um, probably time to... Well, let's get this done. Then we'll go back and fill in all these. In fact, you're done, so let's turn you off and see if we can get you to uh, jump in. Over. Now we're down to one. <sighs> okay. Patience. Patience. So... <clears throat> The next farm, we planned it to be here. Is that how we want to do it? These guys are labor for this farm. Not a lot of other businesses available for them, jobs available for them to do in the off season. They'll probably do this guy, uh, the chicken coop and the other mill. Probably need a market over here. I think we talked about that last time. Probably did. It wouldn't hurt to do that. In fact, we can pop that in real quick right now, just as we're thinking about it. Market stall. Something like this. Let's think about that. What would look good? Actually, kind of think I like it right in there. And hold down the shift. Let's do another one. It's always my pattern, at least, to, to pop in your basics of flour and potato, milk, chicken, eggs, um, fish. Yeah. And then this guy, let's go ahead and turn that. Now nah, we'll wait. We'll wait. Well, this guy will put in more of the sunflower oil and clothes and shoes. And we were doing beef. Which is something we have right now. I guess we're going to look at a third stall. To be able to put in chicken eggs and chicken meat. And... It's probably it at the moment. I would imagine dried fish is going to be uh, coming into the game before too long. That's been hanging out there as a placeholder. So you know, we've got salt available. So I would think that that's not too far away. But it's not ready for us now. So beef... You're going there. So, yeah, once we get these guys planted, I'll try to remember to get back and, and hire those out. Okay, so there's a couple of jobs there. This is a job for these folks. Got these two jobs. This um, manager and at least one worker at all times. Uh, yeah, I'll leave that slot available. And we're still... i got to remember I'm running at slow, the slowest speed. So we're still just halfway through March. If we can get all of this done by halfway through April, it usually works out pretty good. So, don't worry about it. You're over here unloading. Oh, chicken coop. I thought you were unloading to that guy. But, nope, oh, that's fine. Thank you very much. Oh, good. That's where everybody is. They want to construct more than they want to bend over and put seeds in the ground. Mm-hmm. No, I'll tell you the truth, I would too. So, I guess I really can't uh, be too hard on them. I either turn this off and get this done, or I just be patient and know that we're going to get a chicken coop before the end of the episode. And remember it said we want to make sure to have that thing uh, staffed and stocked before we have chickens come. Just like the cattle. You want to make sure you've got your hay and water in place. So out in here is the next farm. Glance down at my nose. Is that where we're heading? Um, yeah, I think so. 
you. Let's go ahead and pop one person in there. Just because as the leather gets done, then as the shoes get done, this grows. And I like when that grows. And that needs to be a constant thing. You want to have money always flowing in so you never get into that crisis of getting down to the last hundred and wondering if you're going to make it or not. So that one we need to do. And once this coop is done, which I have a feeling it's going to, it's going to get moving here pretty quick, then, yeah, we'll be fine. So a farm out here, I'm kind of stalling while I'm trying to picture where it's going to be and what it's going to be like. This isn't going to work. Well, I guess if you think about the road going through here, then it could kind of work if that road was going through here. But we have another road that's kind of coming down to merge with it. So we need to somehow squeeze it in between these areas. How am I going to do that and have it look right? I'm kind of wondering if this road is going to be abandoned. This is the main road and another arc may start up over here, the other side of the farm. I don't know, or else we'll leave a gap between fields for them to roam through and around. Got this guy in here to kind of mess up the pattern, too. Hmm. I like how this art came out, though. Okay. You guys are still working. You guys are scaring me. Okay. <laughs> um. Um. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Farm. There. Right here. Now, touching this road. This road is the main here. I'm pretty sure. Is there a reason why this would be more advantageous to be to aim at? Hmm. We have product being hauled away. That's primarily what's going on. We've got the hemp being hauled out of it. We've got the wheat being hauled out of it. So wheat's... We could get more wheat going over here. And no wheat over here. So we don't have to worry about wheat going down this main road. Okay. Um, so wheat, maybe concentrate an extra couple fields so that there's always two wheat happening each year. Okay, which means what? Pulling out the sunflower? Well, sunflower is over here. And hemp. Essentially, sunflower and hemp are all right here. This guy is dragging it in from everywhere. Hemp, sunflower, sunflower oil, textiles. So this is what we have to be close to, this guy right here, more than anything else. Which means we want the farm aiming upward and tagging this road over here. But I do want to maintain this avenue, essentially, that this is starting to form, firing out into the distance. Which is going to get all the way out into here to whatever is going to happen in this area. Which is a big area. I mean, if you look back on that thing, there's a lot of potential town out here. So, can we see that from here? It's right through there. That's the main avenue I was kind of hoping to, to shoot down the length, which is really crooked. Maybe it's more like that. I think it's following this line right here. Yeah, okay. So, let's start. You? Huh? Okay. Third week of March. <laughs> um, progress? That's growth. That is the... Okay, these are the active stages, right? Which means you're being... No, you're sown. You're sowing. One, two. Yeah, so that line right there is that line right there. Whereas the active one over here, growth, is just that little bit. So that's that mark right there. So we are sowing one person. Wow, that's just killing me. Let's, let's just do that. And let's do that. Maybe that'll be enough. You guys, you're done. You're down. Yeah, okay. Farm. So we want the farm aimed upward. Tagging that road right there. How best to do that? How best to aim this guy? You know, I started writing a letter. I haven't sent it yet to Yaveni to just offer some ideas to because he asked you know 
especially with the chicken coop, um, is pretty basic right now, just meat and eggs. He's kind of waiting for feedback from everybody to get any new ideas of what else to do with the chicken meat and eggs and the chickens themselves and, and what have you, and, and anything else to do with the, the industry of, of keeping chickens. And so I'm trying to think of any other suggestions I might have for the game too, and one of them, you know, we've got the ability, if you look down there, hold shift to place multiple buildings. So I could hold shift and go bang, 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 and put a bunch of these down. R and T rotates, but I never can get these guys lined up the way I want to. Even this is is not really aligned with that. It's off by just a little bit, just enough to like right there. So I can tap it again and kind of get there, but now he's too far back. That's closer, but it's still off. If you could hold maybe the control button down and rotate R and T, it would maybe snap to north, south, east, west, you know, and hit a perfect 90 each time that you could then set buildings to if that's the way you wanted to play the game. Other folks like to play the game with the uh, buildings just hidden randomly all over and, and try to make it look not so perfect. Or other ones like me, I like to set a, a main road through the, the middle of it. it just seems to, to, to feel better. So it'd be nice if there was the ability to, to snap this guy to a grid. Even though, you know, the grid doesn't actually show. You can kind of see a grid a little bit with the markings of the grass. Or even maybe even a, uh, you know, hit a button and a grid shows up temporarily and set your building, then hit the button, turn the grid back off. That might be a way to make it a little bit easier to do things. Also, I suggested getting sounds into the game. Of course, I'm sure that's coming with the final version, but that's why I decided to suggest what kinds of sounds. And I thought maybe just hearing the sound of, of the of the blades swishing by or oh what else did I say rowing splashing noises of the boats or um, the plow going through and hearing the oxen kind of uh, is there is in, in the dragging of the plow through the soil and uh, the scythe cutting the grass out over here little little ambient noise especially during the winter time when it is so silent you kind of you just want to get over here and say, Oh, there's noise. My computer isn't broken. In the wintertime, you can't even do that. So the only thing we can really do is, you know, get somebody working in the uh, in the smith over here. And tink, 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 just to remind yourself that there's noise here. And I am so stalling. F uh, farm. <laughs> so how do we line this guy up? I'm thinking that this guy is a pretty good anchor for alignment. So let's go with something like this so just kind of let's do that and touch the R I guess that's about as close as I'm gonna get right about there okay now I want a field if he goes with this end where my mouse is aligned with this road right in here and I would probably want a field that shoots off into here one next to it one next to it with a good road in between this road may have to just drag down a little bit to match that so a field on each side, they're going to be narrow. As narrow as this means they're going to be a little bit long. So i got to sneak probably up alongside this guy. So that next field is probably out over here. So looking at these green lines, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go for seven. So right in there. And then down in here, lined up with that road. That's not what I wanted to do. Demolish. I wanted to spin the map. There, there, okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ish, something like that. Middle mouse roll, okay. Uh, get down into here where I can kind of align things. So you're somewhere in there. So you can kind of see lines coming out here. This set of green dots. That right there. And seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kind of like this. And those green dots, I think you were there. Let's go with that. And can I see it? Kind of. You know what I can do? I did it on the in the last town and it worked out pretty good. Let's set the, the fields. And then once we can see all the fields, we can see where this guy is twisted or what have you and, and move them over a little bit to match. 
Let's do that route. Where am I? Oh, my timer's lost. It was on the screen a little while ago. Now I see it's dropped underneath the window. So I'm just going to... We'll just get the farm set, then we'll probably call this one done. How are we doing over here? We've got everybody working here now. <laughs> hey, guys. He's offering 140%. Let's go. And, okay, just get it done. Okay, you're over here. Let's grab me a field. How are we going to lay this out when I can't even see the farm anymore? Where are you at? There you are. <laughs> oh, okay, there's another suggestion. A little contrast. <laughs> I guess it's contrasting from a certain angle. Somewhere in here you start to see the yellow flags a little bit better, right in there. So I guess you need the sun at your back to do it. Can I do it from here? I guess I kind of can, but... Hmm. No, I'm going to do it from here. That's the way I lined it up before. Um, what you guys might do, if you have been playing the game and you've got suggestions for, for things that annoy you or things that you could maybe come up with suggestions to make something better or just other ideas, you know, do, do check out ostrogame.com and check out his roadmap so you already have a clue what's already planned. So you're not suggesting things that are, you know, duh, we're going to do that, uh-huh. But things that are, you know, new ideas and new concepts and, and little tweaks that would balance things out, like the fallow fields not completely restoring everything first try. You know, that was that was a good fix there. So little things like that that would uh, give them a, a heads up on, on uh, new ideas to try. I'm seeing flags. I'm really struggling here. I'm thinking we're going to come out... Okay, the flag is the end, so the post is actually right there, the end of the of the shadow. There, there, there is the corner of the building. So we're going to go out to about like that. Okay, snag you, and there's the end of the building there. So right up that area there, and parallel is going to be tough. Actually, you can do it this way. Oh, that worked good. You can pull it through the building and you can kind of see where your parallel is. That works out really good. All right, so what's 15 into here? 15 is the size that I have been using, and it seems to work out pretty good. That leaves us a pretty good gap in there, too, for the road from these guys to come kind of drift down a little bit further and go across this and come back up. So I think that works out good. 15. Now we've got kind of a, a short 15 there and a long 15 there. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put you at the long 15. I'm going to go there. And next one, what is this? You guys are already building that? Oh, no, guys, no, I want to be able to... Do we like it there? Actually, I want to end this a little bit. Uh, no. You're already committed. All right, it's going there. Our road's going to be a little wonky. I wanted a chance to lay these out. I forgot they were, you know, working. In that case, let's get the chicken coop going. Are we, are we done here? We're you we're not done in that one we are done in this one so that's the next one we've still got only two people working on it so there's lots of people available now let's hmm, let's demolish that one and let's go ahead and turn on the chicken coop which is there continue we'll do that and they'll give them something to do while I'm laying out the field so they'll come back and you know shut down their uh, um, this thing hopefully they'll stop hauling over here or something yeah they're oh they're bringing all kinds of stuff over oh man one of the other things I suggested was the ability to place another building after one has been destroyed but all the materials are still sitting on the ground under there so they're essentially killing this the, the footprint so you can't lay your next building down to get them going so we're gonna have to wait for these to all drop off and have to wait for them to all take them back again or get them into another field or another building, which could be these buildings right here. We'll turn all these on. They'll come grab these building materials and, and go. But, yeah, that's... So just those little things that you don't really think of until you've been playing for a while and you realize, man, I wish it wouldn't do that. Or I wish it would do this instead. So he's looking for those kinds of, of little hints and tips and, and suggestions. Let's lay another field out. Obviously, we're not going to get much done this time, but just planning for next episode. <laughs> <laughs> now, these fields can touch, right? I think so. Oh, another thing I've suggested. Some way to measure this. How wide is that? Besides counting fence posts? So I can make another one the same width over here without trial and error. 
you know, it does snap, and that's nice. I like the snap. So if I went from here and went back, that's 14, so I'm not wide enough. So i got to go out to, like, there, right-click, left-click, and then do that. There's 15. Okay, we'll do that one. And so if there was some kind of a measurement on there, I don't know what it would be. What was that? What was... Oh, we tore down the farm. Okay, good. But I can't not place another one, right? I can't until those materials are gone. So are we done here? We're getting there. One person. We're, though, first week of April, two people. I think we're okay. Okay. So with that, we'll leave that alone. And eventually we'll take off one of these guys. These guys will act as sowers as well. So there's a third one right there. So we've got the potential of four that are working in here right now. Um, so once that's done, we'll turn that job off. And, and we already got this one going again. One person's there because everybody got disgusted that I turned off this job. And they're eventually going to... Are you going to go pick something up? Oh, thank you. So we're still filling up wood into that one place and nails. And you're going to grab a board. Okay, we need to get somebody with a cart. <laughs> Come on, guys. Um... Another field. Let's see if we can get this one done. I have no idea how long this episode's going now. I really did start with a timer over there. And at the last second, I brought up the page one more time of the notes for the update. And that took out my timer. You are 15 right there. That's good. So there's three fields there and a farm somewhere in this area facing this right here. Hmm. What do we do now? field down both sides we leave a gap on both sides do we send the fields down let's grab a, a field try not to actually set it permanently so there is no farm oh, okay so we're gonna come off of here come down like this but add a cart path so there to something like one two Three, four. There's five fence post gaps in there. I think that's about right. No, it isn't. We want to line up our road here. So you're going to come back to something much skinnier. Why are you not grabbing? Back up again? Okay, we'll try, start over again. Um, let's go a little... Well, I've got the, the dome orange cone right here coming out of the farm with a cone coming out of this. So I've got to be careful if I'm going to line them up. Let's go to about there. Shoot you. Oh, it's too small. Is that why you're telling me you won't click? There we go. Yeah, this isn't working. So how do we get that road to work? Hmm. Okay, so I've got to be... That's too small. Right there is the minimum it'll let me. And that actually works too long so we can't do that so it's got to come out further I need a farm sitting there and I can't do it now with these guys in here so I'm just kind of stuck so we'll come back to that maybe next episode and finish that one what else can we be doing in here this did get done fishing's got to get going again three fish um, what else this guy is gonna probably get everybody's attention here soon um, I can kick the speed up now. I was really wanting to just lay all this out while the while the uh, uh, sewing was going on. Um, we got two hides waiting for one person to tan it, waiting for somebody to make shoes. Leather did not get into here. So I need you to walk over here. You're what? on your way yeah you just got to work now you're gonna grab the leather that's already sitting over here and start making this trip to start making shoes good because shoes are landing in the market stalls right here don't have any and the market stall right there will eventually have some sewing is done so let's get somebody working in here and that here is going to be a woman with market stalls you're gonna have men laborers and I don't think I need to worry about 20 you know even though it says 20 I doubt 20 will ever pop in to do that job and if they did then the job would just be done you know in, in minutes and it'd be finished um, man there woman there 
and let that one go right there. All right, so that takes care of those two. And two people already employed there. You did get done. You did get done. Let's take off you. So we've got just one there to feed the, the oxen for the summer. And we've got 16 cows still. Let's do two more. I was thinking of splitting this up into two of them, but the rate we're getting the farm done, we're not going to get a cattle shed done, cow shed done anytime soon. So this is what's most important. That's what I wanted to see. Good. So you guys, now I don't have the ability still to decide what to pay these guys. So I can't really push to get the chicken coop done by going 200% of, of normal, but they're going to get it done anyway. That'll probably be where we'll finish this episode. Um, two are coming in, so I want one person doing some slaughtering so that this guy can get more leather to deal with. There's still one hide left, so he's already doing his job. And nobody jumped into that position yet. We still have the two queued. Yeah, that's looking good. A three-year-old and a two-year-old. Okay. Um, we didn't touch any trees over here, so we don't have to worry about these guys coming to work. We've got seven logs, 162 wood, and over here we've got 96 wood. We'll pop one guy in there to work out those seven logs. What are you? You're the town hall. Town hall. Okay, that's fine. So with that, chicken coop is the most important. When that's done, we can turn on the house and maybe... Do we need this warehouse? I was thinking of leather, but it's all so close here. He grabs the, the hides, she grabs the leather, and it goes. shoes go off to the markets. Maybe this is firewood. Let's get firewood over into this area so these guys aren't not going to work because they're spending all day walking across town to get firewood and then coming back. So firewood over here. That's probably good. Now, we could either... Hmm. Let's pop firewood into here and put a worker back in. There will be a lot of time during the year when there won't be any wheat to move. And hopefully that's when she'll spend putting in the, the firewood. And what's happening over here? You just went the other way. You won't have to get clay. To do what? We still need clay in this one? A waiting to clay. Yep. So clay walls. Oh, okay. It, um, yeah, it's going to be this kind of construction right here. So there'll be masonry walls coming in. Okay. Yeah, I want to hear a right now when you get your face right up in the, right up in the blades. All right. Clay's over here. We've got a worker on, on his way. Otherwise, crops are growing. We've got in here wheat and potato and hemp. And more hemp, good, for more textiles, and sunflower. Otherwise, in town, sunflower, oil, eight, sunflower, none. So let's turn off the, uh, right over here, the oil workshop. You're not doing anything anymore. Uh, hemp is not listed there, is it? No. So if there's no hemp, there's no weaving. If there's no weaving, then there's no textile and, and what have you. So that industries all down. Uh, wheat in the system right now is 15. We probably could get a little more flour going. Now we'll get this one finished. It's real close. You can see right there. So we'll move that up into there. And here we've got another clay and some more thatch moving in. So it should be thatch rolling in from right over there. And clay just showed up. And that's enough to trigger a worker to get out here and put the, the clay wall in which I would think more clay would be needed. Maybe this is, oh, this is a wood end over here. Good. Yeah, there goes the wood, a swing around this way. Wow, this moves faster when you're zoomed in. There's some noise. Oh, noise sounds good. Got more wood down there, enough to hopefully finish the, uh, everything. Thatcher's ready, so. Now I haven't missed a notice we've got anybody coming, right? No, okay. Got to see where the chickens come from. All right, we're there. Almost. And right there, we're in. 
Okay, door just opened. Nice. Yeah. So you are right here. I'm clicking on waiting for something to show up. Here it is. Livestock limit 30 versus 20. Okay. 14 available right now. Got to check the labor over there. So we can have 30. Let's get a worker to bring in wheat. And actually we can make this one women. Don't think we need any. No, we don't. Do that again. There are plenty of jobs for the guys to be out there doing the construction. Though, I wonder how many female jobs we actually have in town right now. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 houses. So 17 women in here, plus grown kids, possibly. We're 26 years into this. Do we start at 1,700? Or do we start at 1,720? I think it's 1720, so six years into this. So probably no grown kids. But we're just not one of ten eggs for breeding. Eh? Who, who snuck an egg in here? Huh. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, am I really going to have to go with the guy? I might have to. Hmm. Let's just look through the... Uh, the jobs for the ladies. We set up this one for ladies because th both places to store or to get the goods from are right next to each other. So even if it's just one tenth, they can just and, and no problem. Um, over here, carpentry's a guy. Guys, guys. Over here, granary. We've got one lady, and nice to get one guy in there as well. That's probably who will pop in. We'll see. So one that hauls tenths and one that hauls ones and the two of them between the two of them we can get lots of product moved um weavers we have no no hemp tailor no hemp oil workshop no sunflower and this is a guy because i want to whole numbers being brought in messenger from balaklia you are bringing us cows iron flour and potato nothing has changed there and i don't think i've got anything to trade even potato now, we've got 2.97 potatoes. We need potatoes. So that one we're just going to have to skip. Um, working my way through. Shoemaker, you are out of leather. Do you have leather? You've got leather. Do you have cows? You're done. Turn you off. You have no more hides. Turn you off. Got nothing else to do. So we have leather for her, which is right there. I, no. I guess not. Who are, stop. Who are you? You are... You just got fired. Okay, never mind. And so I'm curious to watch you. You probably spend the next week sitting on that bench before you go and start working on the next project, which is what? Let's get you turned on. Let's get you turned on. And I guess let's get you turned on. We'll do that. This one right here. So we can get firewood coming this way. Firewood is coming this way. Not yet. We're thinking about it. Oh, 14 by 7 out of 50. Okay. No, that's wheat. Firewood's down here. Oh, I didn't tell how many... Yeah, that's right. Been a while since I played this. Shift, move you up to 100. We'll do that. Otherwise, we still don't have our building materials picked up over here. So I may have to... I'll tell you what. This right here is going to need all the building materials. I'll bet you they'll grab these. So early next episode, we should be uh, pulling these materials out of here. We can get back to working on this farm. So that'll be fine. I don't know that it'll be up and running by the time next season happens. It might. It's possible. But can I call this one done here now? Have we accomplished all that was talked about? I think so. Everything's running balanced right now. And got our chicken coop in. We have somebody working there. We have wheat and we have water. Great. It's happening. And two wheat are in here. I don't know what. Maybe we'll be four and four like the cow shed. That sounds reasonable. And we even have uh, hay being dried. Didn't even notice that was happening. Good. And we're starting to build the, the windmill. So with that, I'm going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.